everyone and welcome to the second week of the second quarter. Our focus this week is analytic essays so we've been working on those in class both for sixth grade and seventh grade and we should be wrapping them up at some point next week. Your poetry projects were due last Friday. I've already graded a couple and I've been seeing some phenomenal results. So. Information on the next project will be coming within the next couple of weeks so that's going to be our unit three narrative project. So, so some new things that are going on in our class. First and foremost we have a computer lab center in addition, we've practiced blogging, talking about different topics as a warm-up in class. So that has been going on for about a week now. So Next week on November 11th, then we're going to have parent-teacher conferences. So parents, please email me at sarahjane.thomas at pgcps.org if you'd like to sign up for a time slot. We do conferences as a middle school team, so you'll be able to meet with all of the teachers at once. We also have the book fair opening up on the 7th, and that's going to be running until the 15th of November. In terms of next week, we're going to be wrapping up our literary analyses, and we're also going to be moving towards Unit 3, which is a narrative genre, so definitely stay tuned for that. As always, feel free to contact me if you have any questions, sarahjane.thomas at pgcps.org or 301-702-3950, extension 251. Students, if you need me for anything, then just feel free to see me either during class or we can meet during lunchtime. Now, I wanted to give you a review video, the second part of the series of the five-part essay. All right, everybody, have a great week. See you soon. Bye. What's up, everybody? It is me, Miss Thomas. And I'm here today to talk to you about researching for your paper, like how to do research specifically. Yeah. And it's going to be a double hitter, you know, because we're going to talk about how to research online. And uh, we're also going to start filling in some of this outline from yesterday. Now, this is the third take of this and it better work because Miss Thomas doesn't like doing this over and over again. Anyway. Um, so looking at our outline from yesterday, we did the five-part essay. Uh, we started with an introduction, then we had our three points of discussion, and we wrapped it up with a nice little conclusion. So hopefully we can start filling in some of the gaps. Um, so one of your classmates in fifth period kind of challenged me to research the color green as my topic, so I'm going to do that because I'm tight like that. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to a search engine. Let's go to Google. Hopefully, my internet will work this time. Yeah! Okay, finally, my internet worked. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead, type in my search term, green, and hit enter. Dang, look at that. Three billion results? Are you kidding me? I'm, uh, nobody's got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to narrow it down. Um, there's lots of different meanings to the word green. There's like green energy. There's like green party. So let me take out some of these words I don't want. I don't want energy. So I put a minus in front of the word energy. That means I don't want energy. Don't want green party. So I'm going to take out party. Uh, yeah. I don't want to talk about green vegetarians because, you know, even though we're tight like that, I've never seen a green vegetarian in my life unless they're like from Mars or something. Wait, vegetarian. Okay. What else? Hit me with something else. Don't want to talk about green day. You know what? I'm tired of doing this. I want to talk about the color green. Color and, uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Yes. So. When I come to here, I get 300 million results. That's a lot better than 3 billion results, but still, ain't nobody got time for that. So, we're not going to go through each of these results, but we'll look at the um, we'll look at the first page. Because usually on the first page, then they're put, like, in order to be most relevant to you. So, what I'm going to do here is that I'm looking at my results. Um... Got lots of different things about green, so I can, I can look, I can start narrowing down my topic. Okay, so here I'm saying that there's different shades of green. Eh, that's boring. Okay, color psychology green. That that's kind of cool. So um, my point one, I'm going to do it. Well, my introduction is going to be about the color green, and my point one is going to be about psychology. 
what else is kind of cool? Well, it's going to be about gr the use of green in psychology. Use of green in psychology. Okay, because that's kind of cool, I think. Um, let me see what else. What else is cool on here? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to learn about some color blindness. So, green in color blindness. What else can I talk about green? You know what? I can think of one. I want to talk about my favorite kind of green, which is money. Yes, green in money. All right. So now, as you can see, I can like look at these different areas here, and um, I can, I can look, I can put these in my search terms to get more information. Um, so let me let me first start out with my introduction. I want to have something interesting about the color green. And of course, since I'm dry, as some of you say, then my version of interest it might not be the same as yours. But it's okay. Um, 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 um. what is cool about green? Maybe green color, green cool facts. So if my internet works for me, which hopefully it will, then we're going to look at some good attention grabbers about green. Come on. Hook me up, internet. Let's go. Hmm. This internet is taking a while, so, um, yeah, I might need to stop the video here and then, you know, talk to my computer, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so catch me in the next video, and I'm going to continue talking about some more research strategies, um, online, as well as filling in our outline. So, see you in a couple minutes. Bye.